Uh, it is also to like to share how to solve this trigonometric equation by using transformation method. We can first let r sine x plus a be equal to sine x plus cos x. Expand the left hand side ratio obtain r sine x cos a plus r cos x sine a is equal to sine x plus cos x. Compare both sides, we shall obtain r cos a is equal to 1 and r sine a is equal to 1 as well. So we obtain equation 1 and equation 2. If we take square of equation 1 plus square of equation 2, we shall obtain r square cos square a plus r square sine square a is equal to 1 square plus 1 square which means that if we factorize r square we have cos square a plus sine square a is equal to 1 square plus 1 square which is 2 and cos square a plus sine square a is equal to 1 by using the trigonometric identity. So which means that R is equal to 2. And now we can take the second equation over the first equation, which means that we have R sine A divided by R cos A is equal to 1 over 1. 1 over 1, 1 is equal to 1. R over R cancel each other, no more. Sine over cos tangent A. So which means that A is equal to R tangent 1, which is equal to 45 degree. What we have to do here is double check that. Since for R cos A, we have positive value, R sine A also positive value, and tangent A is also positive value, which means that a, the angle A must be acute angle. Since recall that all sign teacher crazy, only the first quadrant with all the trigonometrics be positive. So we should have 45 degree. Next, substitute back to the equation that we have R, which is 2 sine x plus A, which is 45 degree is equal to sine x plus cos x which is equal to 1 according to the question so which means that sine x plus 45 degree is equal to 1 over 32 which means that x plus 45 degree is equal to arc sine 1 over 32 since we obtain positive value for sine which means that we should have the first quadrant and the second quadrant according to the all sine teacher crazy so from here if we take our sine 1 over 32 we should have 45 degree which is in the first quadrant and for the second quadrant we just have to take 180 minus 45 degree and we should obtain 100 35 degree and now we can obtain the value of x simply minus 45 degree for both angles we should obtain 0 degree and 135 degree minus 45 degree which is equal to 90 degree remember since we have 0 degree 0 degree and 360 degree should be exactly the same point so we should include 360 as well and hence with that Okay, that's all about this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.